Uh, oh yeah, for lunch tomorrow. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Yeah, I went to go see that uh, Nova exhibit the other day. You saw it, didn't you? What? The Nova exhibit, you know, from the the music festival in Israel. Yes, I went. You went? Yeah. I, it, you know what's like, really ridiculous is they're all yelling Allahu Akbar while they're killing people. It, what kind of religion is that? Uh, Sick. Sick. Sick people. You see, when you go in and the, the screens are full blast. At yeah. Your feet, but you're high. Horrible. Horrible. Yeah. Good evening. <laughs> Tomorrow we'll learn at 7 o'clock. Okay. Because we have three at eight o'clock. Right. We're on the Mishnah Kukbaz, 106. 106. 106. Mishnah. Mishnah. Kukbaz, 106. Tomorrow at 7, you said. Right? Tomorrow at 7 o'clock. Okay. Somebody sells a field and he's going to sell them the, the base core, the 75,000 square amas. And he, he gives simonim, the simonov. There's certain simonim on the piece of land or be made sorrow. And he, he delineates his borders. And then later on after the purchase, it's been found that it's not exactly a base core. Since they didn't use the generic phrase base core, but they, they gave a specific designation. So then we don't follow the regular rules of 124th. We say, like a regular purchase, if the difference in the amount of land was less than a sixth, the deal is a good deal. If it's the difference is more than a sixth, it's a quarter or fifth, then you take you the you have to reduce the price down to a sixth. Because that we accept. Itmar, Ravuna Omar, Shesus, what about if it's exactly a sixth? So it's Kepochos Mishesus, and the din would be that the transaction is a good transaction. Ravuna Omar, Shesus is Kiyoyser Mishesus. A sixth is is like more, and then you'd have to reduce the price. And this is how he explains the Mishnah. If the difference in price or amount of land was less than a sixth, and a sixth is in that category, he gives the sale's a good sale. You're not get otherwise you have to get back money. This is I have to understand the Mishnah. If it's less than a sixth difference, we, we ignore it and we say the sale is a good sale. If it's a, more than a sixth and a sixth is in that category, then you can get the money back. From a Baraisa. Bisimonov Mitsarov, somebody sells a base core and gives Simonim and gives its borders. Pichai Shesus or Hoyser Shesus, whether it's less than a six or greater than a six, 
הרי הוא כשום הדיונים. We rely on the judges to take a look. They will do evaluation. Vigil. But the sale is a good sale. Now, Vahashuma Dayonim comes out Shesus is Kiyoshim Shesusu. That exactly a six is like more than a six. This would be, a, and then, so this is a Kashan Ravuna, Armelech Ravuna. So, Letamech, even according to you, it's going to be a problem. Igiu Kotani. We say in either way, even if it's more than a six, the sale's a good sale. That's also uh, opposed to your Shita. Ella, it depends. When we say Shuma Dayonim, the valuation of the Dayonim, it depends. It's not the same in every case. Kishuma Dayonim, Velo Kishuma Dayonim. Kishuma Dayonim, Shesus, that if it's just a sixth, it's Higiyo. Velo Kishuma Dayonim. Sheilu Osun, Batal Mekkah. By the case of the Mishnah, you reverse the sale. And the sale is a good sale. Rav Papa bought a piece of land from a certain person. The seller said, "There's it's a 20 saw of field. Mashi, so Rav Papa measured it. Velavi Ali Khamesra was only 15. So also the Kameda Abaya to claim against the seller. Armale, no, Sabras Vikipal. You knew this field and you accepted the way it is. Great Morvatnan. That even when a person recognizes the simonim and the borders, it's only Pachas Mishisusi Giyu. It's only if the discrepancy is less than a sixth that we say the sale is a good sale. But he would have a claim if it's more than here. Certainly it's 25%, more than a sixth. It's, yeah, Abayah says, He doesn't know the field. If you know the field, and you know the simonim, then you accepted it. So the Rav Papa says, Vahai astronomically. But he he said it's twenty. And I measure it's not twenty. Yeah, it's good like twenty. It means this fifteen soft field is really like a twenty soft field because of the quality of the earth. You should never you should have understood that that's what he meant. Tanya Rav Yosi Oimer, Ha'achin So you have five brothers. The father passed away and left over Yerusha. So they divided it up into five pieces. And they drew lottery. Which who which brother would get which? They did it al-goyro. Once one of them received his goyro, then they, 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 they all acquired their piece. And they can't go back. My time, huh? I mean, a goyro, there's no Kenyan here. On Rabbi Lozer, it's Eretz Yisrael. It's like the Chaluk of Eretz Yisrael to the Shvati. Mat Chila Begoyro, it was also with a goyro. Avkan Begoyro. So the Gemara says, yeah. Imala Alan the Kalfi Vurim Vitumim. That had the Urim Vitumim and Elazar got dressed up with big day kahunu and vetumim, Yoshua, and there was like a, a box with the name of the Shvatim and a box with the name of the Tchumim. And the Ruach HaKodesh, they established this. Afkan, the Kalfi Vor Vetumim. Here, uh, what kind of goyrul? This was not the same kind of goyrul. How can you say it's the same din? So the Gemara says, yeah, there's a different mechanism. The Hanna that each brother, brother gives the other brother that they're agreeing to do the lottery and they accept the outcome. Whatever that value is, 
That's value enough to be mocked into each other. Itmar. Shnei Achim Shecholku. Two brothers divided up a Yerusha. And then all of a sudden, Ubalan Achim Dinasayam, a brother shows up from China. They didn't know about him. They didn't even know he existed. But he's but it's determined that he's the brother. Ravam Rabatla Machloikas, that the division that the two brothers had previously done goes away. They have to put all the fields into the pot. And then they divide it into three, and each one gets a third. Shmulaver Makamsim, no. Each brother took his share, they keep it. But then they each give a little bit to the other brother. That's the Machlokas Rav and Shmuel. Amalei Rav Rav Nachman, the Rav, the Amar Batla Machlokas. Rav said when the third brother shows up, we nullify the original Chaluka. Alma Shahadur Dina. That means Bezdin makes a dip. And then it's recognized that they made a mistake. The whole din goes away. It seems that that's how Rav is poskening. Well, based on that, Elamiato, Hanibet, Plasi, the Kaimi, you have three people in partnership. The Ozo, Betremina, Upoli. And two of the partners go and divide the assets. So what? They have to divide it up between the three of them. I mean, so Achiash is no compare. Hasan Achisi Adai the Chit Losu Mikara. Originally, the Chaluka was between the three of them, and they have to decide which one of the three gets which one. But here, the two brothers, when they divided their field originally, they didn't know that the third brother existed. They didn't know that there was three in the beginning. They thought there was only two. And the coin is Shmuel, Amalir of Papa Labai is Shmuel. The Amr Makamsin, that each brother gets to keep his original, and then they just give a little bit from to make up the third of the third brother. Lemaimer de Kamdina. That means if a Bazdin makes a mistake, you keep the din. I'm going to sell you 30 saw for 30 dinner. So until you measure out the whole 30, you can go back on it. But I'm going to sell you 30 saw every saw for $1. Rishon, Rishon, as he me measure, measures out, saw, saw, kana. So how can he go back on the deal? Over there, they made this takana that it's good for the seller and good for the buyer. Because sometimes the buyer wants to go back on the deal because the prices have changed. And both of them don't want that the transaction should close. So each can, so that doesn't exist by brothers who are dividing the ancestral assets. Okay, stop here. Tomorrow, seven o'clock. Bye, honey. Bye. Bye. Bye.